This problem is also known as the events in progress problem. You've got a set of data with, say, an employee start date and end date, or maybe the arrival date and the departure date, and you want to do a chart or some sort of visualization showing you the number of people present each day. So some people are arriving, some people are leaving, some people are staying for three days, some people are staying for one. How do you build a visual showing the number of people present when you have a start date and an end date? Okay, it's a little bit tricky, not too hard. This isn't where you start your DAX journey, but you might find this really useful fairly quickly. So let's go. So we want to answer these two questions. We've got guests arriving and booking in to our hotel, and we want to work out how many guests were staying at the end of each day or each month and how many guests stayed during the month, okay? So let's set the scene. We've got this set of data. All it's got is like a check-in date, check-out date. You know, there are three guests that arrived on that day. Maybe there were, you know, one family or something. And so on, we've got another day, somebody checked out on the seventh. So these people were there overnight for a few days, okay? I've pulled this data in and I've got a simple measure that's the number of guests checked in okay it's simply the sum of the bookings data table number of guests column that's it okay they just check in date check out date how many people add it up so here we can see there's 73 in january we've got 73 in this table and there's the 73 and this january if i look at my calendar table okay i've hooked up my calendar table to my check-in date now that means it's nice and easy for me to do a chart showing me the number of people who have checked in each day. Super simple. I would just go here, click on a page. I could just simply tick the number of guests checked in, go to my calendar, tick the date, and this would be sort of by day, the number of people who checked in. And I could switch it around and, you know, say, link it, the calendar up to the number of people who checked out. But I want to know how many people were there each evening. So as people stay multiple nights, I need my chart to sort of build up. And this is where you have to get a bit fancy with your DAX formula. Okay, this pattern is known as events in progress. Let me talk you through it. Okay. So if I actually, let me just bring this chart back that I just deleted. So I'm just going to go number of guests checked in by date. Okay, I'm just going to turn on my data labels. Data labels on. And I'm actually going to make the density 100% so I see all the labels. Okay. So we can see here sort of on the, this is the 1st of Jan, three people checked in. No one checked in on the 2nd. Three more people checked in on the 3rd. This filter, the, these dates along the bottom here, these are filtering, so we're capturing the status of the people who have checked in. Now, what I really want is to say, and this is where you have to step back with DAX and work out the logic, okay? Before you start writing stuff down, you really have to step back and work out the logic. So, for example, if I want to focus on the 3rd of January, okay, this person checked in, and they didn't check out, so they were there, or those three people, that family, were there on the 3rd of January. Great. This, These two people checked in on the 3rd of January, and they checked out afterwards, so they were there. So that's five people who were there. Oh, here we go, another few people checked in on the 3rd of January. So that's six people who were there on the 3rd of January. Okay, so I basically want to filter this table to say, give me everyone who arrived before the 3rd of January or on the 3rd of January and left after the 3rd of January. So this is how we have to write our DAX formula to handle that filtering. Okay, I'm just gonna go back to, back to this screen. Right, so here we go. Right click, new measure. 
And when you start writing more complicated formulas, you really do need to start using variables in DAX as well. Okay. Um, number of guests present equals. Okay, and I'll actually make this really explicit at end of period. Just who's there on that night when we're looking at that bar, okay? So essentially we're gonna do a variable, so variable var. Um, we wanna get the date that this bar is being filtered by. So in this case, the 10th of January, in that case, the 11th. So you've got to capture that date, okay? So that is the, I'm just gonna call it end date per visual equals the max calendar date, okay? That's what that is, okay? That bar is the date and the 10th of January. To get that date, 10th of January, it's just the maximum at that point, okay? Perfect. So we've captured that and now we wanna use it to work out everybody who's checked in before that date or on that date and everybody who checked out after that date. So then we say um, var result equals, okay, and then we do our calc and then we do return result at the end. So we wanna change some filters. So the change filter function is called calculate. So calculate. Then we wanna count the rows in our bookings because every, well, actually we wanna sum the number of guests. We've already got that. So it's the number of guests checked in. Okay, it's already that, it's that measure I've already got. You may wanna just actually rewrite it if, if it becomes a bit confusing with that terminology, but it's simply the sum of the number of guests that were checked in, okay? Comma. And now comes the fancy bit, the filtering. Okay, we need, firstly, we need to remove any filters to do with the date because we're stuck in this date filter. We're already filtering at the 10th of January. We're filtering the calendar table and that calendar is filtering the bookings data. So we've only got data for check-in dates in the 10th of January. That's what's giving us our figure of five. We need to break out of that. The concept of breaking out of the filter context is really key to getting your head around how to apply more complicated DAX. So I'm going to go remove filters, okay, to do with a calendar. So I'm starting with a, as if the calendar didn't exist so that the bookings data table is not filtered at all. And then I want to re-filter it, okay. We now need to put in, okay, where the check-in date, so the bookings data, let me just zoom back out of here so we can see, there we go, check-in date is before or equal to, so if they check in on the 10th of January, I want that, okay? And unfortunately, with IntelliSense is blocking my uh, my variable name, but it was date, sorry, it was end date per visual, okay, comma, and we want to, filter where the bookings data checkout date is after. Because if they check out on the 10th, I don't want to include them. So just after the end date per visual. Okay, and we're pretty good. So we can close the brackets on that. Oh, okay. We do need to handle one more scenario. Somebody may not have checked out yet, so they don't even have a checkout date. So they've got to be this, okay, or, so double pipe for or, double pipe symbol. The bookings data checkout date is blank. So I really, what I should do is just wrap it in and is blank. Okay, and then I return the result. Give it a tick. Okay. So then I'm gonna swap this out, this visual here, get rid of that, put the number of guests present. And here we have three people, three people. There's the six that were checked in by the 3rd of Jan, okay? And so we build up. 
So that's the basic one, okay? How you get it at the end of each day, okay? If we display this though, Control C, Control V, if we display this by month, so I'm gonna get rid of date and just put month in the axis, and I'll just say Jan, Feb, well, let's just clear this out so we can see all of them. So clear the slicer. So this figure of 21 is the number of people that were there on that night, on the 31st of January. But I actually want to see how many people were there during the month. So this needs a bit of a tweak to the formula. Okay, so I'm going to take this formula, copy it, and then right click new measure and paste present during the period. Okay, we also need to take account, so the start of the period and the end of the period when we're looking at um, a whole month sort of thing. So var, let's go start date per visual equals, well, if we're focusing on January, okay, the max date is the 31st of January. So to get the 1st of January, you take the min, so min, okay, calendar date. Okay, and then this one is says, okay, they must have checked in before the end of January, before the 31st. Okay, so they must have checked in prior to that end date. And then they checked out before the start date. So for example, if somebody checked out on the 5th of January, they were there during January. So we say, change that one to start date per visual. Okay. And that should be enough. If I click on the tick, number of guests present during the period. Okay, and I change this chart to this. Here we have it. Okay, there were 73 there during January. There were 87 there during February. So it's a pretty funky formula. I'll put it in the notes, okay? I'll copy the formula, I'll put it in the, in the notes below. Let me know what you think. Do you come up with a better way? Is there an alternative? You know, everyone's learning DAX. It's a bit of a challenge. Breaking out of filter context is a little bit crazy. Um, let me know what you think. Share this with others. And I hope you enjoy these videos. Please leave some comments and I'll catch you later.